paraded down the avenue and uh, this was something that made us all proud. Here's De Gaulle parading and suddenly firing opened up from uh, uh, forces that were left behind. And they thought from the other, even some of the, uh, over the middle of this thing, these are shots that I took the people lying flat on the ground to get under our car, we couldn't move the car while uh, they were trying to get people to stop shooting by raising white flags. But it went on continuously and although it was small arm fire, uh, De Gaulle just stood his ground. Mother wasn't taking any chances. This, this is the way the streets of Paris looked on the Day of Liberation. Sworn at by the French. These are sworn, and uh, they were sworn at by the French. These are some shots made late in the day of the American troops marching through the streets of the city on the way to the front lines. Wherever we stopped, the French were there to trade champagne for cigarettes and to talk to us to find out what was going on. We were parading again along the Champs Elysees with that newfound liberty. We discovered that the Eiffel Tower, which was reported destroyed and used for arms, was still intact. And uh, soon I managed to get permission to go up into the Eiffel Tower and see what it looked like from up above. But uh, there was much to be done. And even though Paris looked beautiful, conditions were very poor. The railroads were practically to support the city, which uh, was in dire need not only of food but of cold because at this time it was getting pretty cold. It was late in the year and uh, there was no way of getting supplies in. 